from college is brother law. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Huh? What? I know it is. I, I see his name up. But I didn't bring mine. I'm hoping that your library comes back. Yeah. Maybe other libraries. Okay. So they should have access to it because he's had several chapters mm -hmm. that are coming in for the Bible lectures as well. He has himself a chapter on things he's going to talk about. So they should have access. Yeah. Or you can you have a scan <laughs> a, a free. Uh, Okay, yeah. yeah, but they will, they will, they will leave if you order them to come to the appointment. Basically, all I'm requesting is to have it there. If you can come in here, if I don't, then I would have to come out there. Uh, all right, so, uh, so that's that. And uh, it, since it doesn't matter if I finish that lecture or not, I am here. I will give away. Uh, these, these two folks, that they are signed, and later you can. So I can, <coughs> you decide which seven of you will get it because you can do it by what you don't have to do it now. You can do it at the end. But I just wanted to show you that you will have it. So at the end, uh, you can do it. And now two people will get it from me uh, three people Deepika, Sagari, and Sagari Chandra, so she volunteers for the gift. The others can do by.
So you, you, you folks are crazy. Why just uh, one thing? You make 16 slits so we can run 16 counts. It's a beautiful idea, by the way. And it's not going to start paper, as you can see. Uh, but he's the one who uh, opened that to give him credit for it. And so we made these cuts, weekly cuts, and then we ran these samples. And then uh, we extracted the amount of proteins, and then we uh, added mean hydrogen, and then we looked at the spots of the amino acids, and we have uh, known known amino acids. So the first paper that was published in the old days, uh, Professor Stephen Rosenfelder, at the time, uh, you know, the chromatographic studies in amino acid therapy was hotly disputed for some reason. So that was very common. It was published in the Proceeding National Institute of Science in India. Uh, five page book. Uh, then uh, I may have said this in the class, but uh, I'm going to repeat. Uh, so, Professor Ranya was very busy and he didn't care much about what I was doing. He didn't know what we were doing. So, he sort of gave us the idea that I would lecture us and then I can publish all my stuff. So, he did five notes. So, he wrote a paper. The first he wrote a paper, he did that all because he's the one who gave us the idea. So we had to publish quickly because in the first paper, uh, Professor Ranjan uh, thought that rather than having done any experiments, so it's going to be on the science thing. So in the second paper, we published with Seth Rather and you know, Ranjan was very happy. Professor Ranjan was very successful. Uh, so then we thought, what's he doing? Uh, he, 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 <coughs> we are doing it ourselves, and this really not our focus, and we're not doing PNG, and that is. And I think he was ahead of the farm. So, Valeria and I uh, did this work on tobacco. And tobacco is a more important plant than uh, agar or uh, croton. So we sent to Nature. Nature immediately accepted our paper. This is my only paper in Nature. Then we were very excited. And we ran to the Ranjan's office and said, Professor Ranjan, see, see, we have an acceptance letter from Nature. He was very excited. Sit down, boy. <laughs> You're sending papers behind my back. <laughs> we didn't know. So it was really innocent on our part at that time. Uh, but he was very good. He understood it. Uh, he said, what do you want? What instruments do you want? Boy. <laughs> uh, so we told him well, all the instruments we need. Of course, I was not doing PNG, but Meloria was. So we, he bought everything that uh, was needed in the lab. So this paper was now, my, my, uh, the story is that by, I'm being recorded, but it's all right. The story is, is it? I'm being recorded, yeah? Yes, sir. The, the story is, could be wrong. See, because it depends on your memory, what you remember. Laloria may remember slightly different. So, uh, I will beg apologies to other, maybe rather or other, but so be it. So, then the next, this is, this is, uh, I said I won't show you a lot of but this is. My favorite tower, it's the other building where the exam takes place, the main tower. So what started me is looking for the surface area. That's the other thing I may have been, see, but I think I don't remember what I said in the first day. I sometimes say in the first day, but I'm, maybe I'm repeating. If it is, I hope it's okay. Uh, is it okay? <laughs> so, Brendan uh, has studied in the Felix Brock, Brock Blackman. Of the whom is the Blackman reaction, meaning thereby he's the one who did the curve for the synthesis, light, the see the light for the thing that rises, uh, it feeds it linearly and then saturates because you have CO2 saturating or enzyme saturating. So this was called the Blackman reaction or the dark reaction, so to speak. And as I told you, we cannot call it dark reaction because Babu Khan has insisted that it will not go on in darkness since the enzymes are light, except in the tank part. So, he had come and he had learned from Cambridge, he was MSc there, uh, that there should be a seminar course on this, shouldn't be asked of your presenter. So, so, we were asked to give a presentation, but not just to give any ready more time, but uh, maybe the whole, whole, whole class, you know, the whole hour. <coughs> so, we, I was given that topic, uh, not topic, and the topic was not given, just like I told you, you stupid topic. This is simple one, 1960. The last is simple one. So I went to the library and chose to start reading for the first time. So I was in the necessary discharge. There were students. 
had organized also a mock festival, a mock symposium. So which means instead of the deep thing which we didn't know about, students came up in dress. They dressed, it was a kind of fight thing in the evening. They came up dressed up as other brothers, the Nobel laureate, David Nuska, Chris Play, Bill Ennis, and students volunteered from the DSP class as well as the Nuska class. And would kind of run as a social in the afternoon. And they, in this symposium was on discovery. And these two <coughs> activists being Bill Priestley, Otto Warburg, Robert Amundsen, and many others. I even remember who it was, was my friend Bill Grant, yes, Bill Grant, who was the mother of the child, and more. So, MSC, so that got me started about being interested in this. I said, what do they have to do? What did Barbara do? Okay, we here just making jokes about it. So then uh, in the final, I was telling you, when Lyndon returned from Washington, Washington he, I, he asked me, so I presented a seminar, or rather, I see how presentation, on the role of chlorophyll in photosynthesis, very general. That included the red brown fur that I mentioned, the 1943 of Amazon, which was totally puzzled. I couldn't understand the same, what it was. Just like sometimes you may have a feeling that you don't understand it, which is okay, it is good, because if you need to, Ask that question again and try to find the answer yourself or with your patients yourself. So, and that's fascinating. I said, well, what are you doing? Well, why is it silly red rock? So it's fascinating. But still, there are books that you can read about it. Because that paper was, so I wrote for our Ramosa. Dear Professor Ramosa, not dear fellow, because I'm not a student. Dear Professor Ramosa, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. In understanding this, I want to be your PhD student. Uh, here is my CV. Uh, oh, yes, oh dear. I'm very, very touched uh, by the fact that you did this. Uh, that's why I'm here having, we are actually doing experiments right now. That may solve the anomaly of the But that perhaps leads in the direction of solving the anomaly of the I just don't know. So if you want to apply, apply to Fulbright, and if they give you a shuttle grant, uh, you'll get a fellowship for you. So I went there. And I just want to show you some pictures which are published in one of those articles I mentioned. So this is my friend, Valoria. He got a new degree, and very model too, very serious. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, when I went to USA, this is my passport picture. <laughs> <laughs> James Salomon. Uh, and then, of course, uh, this is much later. I uh, used to be able to bicycle, not anymore. And of course, I want to prove to you that I'm very good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I also want to prove that Emerson was my favorite mentor, whom I never published a single thing. But I hard work his work, and uh, I still have two photographs. So, now, then I went, uh, oops, sorry. So now let me show you, uh, Emerson, how we will have uh, sort of squeeze better image, uh, sort of squeeze out these glasses. And this is Ruth Chalma, who drew algae for us for the lab. She was, uh, she was also in the paper. Contribution to the blood, not only doing that, but we made paintings together with Emerson. Then there were other people that are uh, there in the lab. Paul Latimer, discoverer of scattering, light scattering in alkylation and steady, PhD thesis, is light scattering in suspension and it's very safe, safe measure. And there's John Lavarel from France, which is a postdoc. She both worked with Emerson Bell. And this is Mrs. Laborel, Madame Laborel, and that's, I think, the two children of the Laborel. So this is a picture of old time. Now, this is a picture which I want to point out where I have an opportunity to bring light, even off by the light, as you know. So there are three phases to this. Now two, and I'll show you a right three points or so on that. Uh, 
Left and the right. Now, the third one was, was also discovered by William Arnold. By the way, William Arnold, as I said, was an undergraduate student of Robert Emerson in 1932. He discovered this phenomenon of thermal luminosity. What he did, he took a sample, any sample, let's say this sample, let's say it's a leaf or whatever, and he shined light on it. And as soon as shine light it and dump it in liquid nitrogen. Total in total darkness. And then he put it in the sample and looking at it with photograph glass and watching the instrument, and then it suddenly glow when you heat, he's heating it with surface. And it suddenly it goes. And so this is thermal luminosity. And now this is also coming like the electro. So he's a discovery, and I've said, and he had a theory of what this thermal luminosity is all about. And it turned out he had a theory, he's a physicist by the way, electron hole theory. So <laughs> electrons recombining with holes in a solid state picture. His paper in Proceedings of National Academy of Science. And I read that paper. And I telephoned him. I said, Dear Bill, Bill, I wasn't able to call him Bill, even though I'm much older because he was a student of mine. So it was like an equal, even though he was <laughs> like Emerson age. I said, I don't think you were right. I think it is like the late Emerson, and it's coming from all the cells. We will show you. So we looked at it. I was in Bombay and we did many, many experiments and he came back to the United States and there was a man named Don DeVore. He was worked with Britain Chan, the discoverer of electron tunneling. So the electrons can tunnel even though they're not supposed to go, but there's a probability that the electron, even at any temperature, can move, just travel through without going to the barrier. There's a probability. And he's a discoverer of electron tunneling co-discoverer with Britain Chan in biology. So I reached him, I said, Don, here is the thesis, here is the problem. Have it. So we got together and he wrote the model. He did uh, some experiments, I had done some in Bombay, and then he wrote the paper. So we sent the paper to Bill Arnold, he's a member of the National Academy of Science. I said, there is, maybe I said to the question, Bill Arnold is a member. Here is the work. We have written the draft. Would you like to co-author it? <laughs> because if he co-authors it without saying <laughs> his theory doesn't work, it's good. He said, "Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, I will be delighted to co-author the paper." But you know, you it's a two very long work, one day stuff you're writing. Just reduce it by fifty percent, and I will read it. So the paper is published together with the Lano, the Wall, myself, to the theory. So that's that's where I just wanted to mention that in the class I will be I will be saying about that the step of theory. Right. So now we the DC drama. So I'll put in some slides of some of the past dramas, not all. So the one this maybe uh, you'll find it. Yeah. So here I want to ask you if anybody can tell what's wrong. But can you tell what is wrong here? So I'll tell you, this is 6380, 6385. Anyway, just for fun, think about it. Three, what? 6380 star like in the slightest Is that the only thing? Ah, you got it. So the redox, when you put P60, yes, you're right also, you know, but the real way to understand it. The P680, P680 star has a higher energy than the pipe. Therefore, the electron will go down. Now here, in the Lomariaro, Professor uh, uh, in Finland, he became the P680, and here is Takohar of Israel. Uh, he is the pipe. And he is suffering the electron. This is delayed through. It is not always there. So if it goes back, anything happens. Okay. All right. So now uh, the other, other most, most of them are professors or assistant professors, and in Finland or uh, in neighboring countries, Sweden, they all become at the same distance. I think the age of the professor is And it's a Fisiardi 
So then I uh, recently, uh, uh, the, 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 the 2014, I was in Quebec, and there, by the way, I did not do anything except to watch and guide them to see if they're making the wrong move for the rest of the time. And so that I would be happy to do when they come. Uh, so here are the students who became the two molecules, and you can see we even have the antenna. Yeah, that high, that both papers were published in science, and there was a 
Bertel Anderson, Dan Anderson, uh, Dan Anderson and Pete Gordon from Australia have separated the two constituent systems, one and two different ones. Okay. So we immediately talk to each other that we should talk that let us find the detail of what the composition is, not com not biochemical, but the biophysical characteristics. What is the fluorescent and what is the fluorescent? So that's our system of PAB system. So its characterization as a pigment system is legal in terms of fluorescence and absorption, right after the typical separation that we call them. Uh, there is a problem that we have. And I see it only when I switch here. Uh, and uh, it turns out that Boltzmann also thought of the same thing. And they had two fluorescent systems. So their paper was published in 57, like I have time, uh, but much more. Then I have many certain students very in a different form. Why? Because these students, Charles Hildestrand went to work at Beckman Company, he has many patents, he has credit, a lot of money to talk to. So he was a very ingenious person. Giorgio Pogliogio, he Pogge 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 suffered differently because he stayed in the infosphere till today. He retired and we still work together. My last paper has just been submitted to so you see his professor and his students here. So Papadouzi discovered the relationship of low chlorophyllate fluorescence with photophosphorylation events. We're talking about somebody up in there, about ATP, right? So he did all those experiments and that was his PhD system. John Klingman Mother, uh, he discovered that chlorophyllate fluorescence shows the interplay between photosystem two I'm for the system one, I mean, when the splitting the PP or the IP, because when he added metaphor, which is metal violin, grains electron, so it's the system one. So that was an improvement. And he is a child of vice president for some of the Uh Frederick Chow, who came, uh, both, by the way, uh, Abu Dhabi was a chemist, he just turned into a physicist. Monday was a physicist, and so was a solid state physicist. So these people came for PhD in biology. And that's how we were able to do things different way. So Fred Joe <coughs> had many patents also. Now he, he went to Motorola and American things. He made a fluorescence measurement of the functional temperature down to liquid helium, helium temperature and showed that the first degree occurred in the air. So he, he studied the temperature dependence of energy transfer from chlorophyll B to chlorophyll A, from phytocyanin to chlorophyll A, and they were all temperature dependent at the first degree. Okay. So, and went down to four degrees Kelvin, very expensive thing, because liquid helium temperature is very expensive, and we didn't have any way to keep it so we could keep quality. And that's still the published in the So these are the first four pieces. I'll show you more pictures. Now, uh, of other students. So here is Mohanty, here is Ben Bach, Alan Chandler, Rajendra, myself, at the University of Tulsa, Maya Bazar from Iraq, uh, Ben Vidal from the US. Uh, so Ted Mark, he provided measurements suggesting that triplets, somebody's asked the question, <laughs> may not be involved in the region, but they are not going to. So this is all that magnetic field as we publish the photographs. Further, he discovered another phenomenon, temperature jump delay. So people, um, uh, as I showed you, I told you about thermoluminous in this stuff. I told you about delay now. But what he did, he simply said, oh dear, I'm going to give a chop chop on the photo. And he did, and it was big. So he is the discoverer of temperature jump delay size in the universe. But it's not much use because every other thing, it's like delayed process and uh, it's too more difficult to do than we need to do. But actually, it's simple. Uh, the late Sultan Mohanty, who was here in this building, I visited him many times, great respect for him. He discovered a fast for, I mean, the professor of Western Department, Western Business PhD, 
If some of the pastors can change the sign of bacteria, they, nobody knows that there's any pastors can sign the bacteria. Everybody says, sign of bacteria, don't have any. They took out the bacteria, they covered by two pastors. And finally, they use the word change of management, regulation of it. They're talking about regulation of the church. Then the big out, he told you about looking for a different plan. He used a looking for a different plan. In anti-Asian, most of the experiments people are doing in Korba. So he chose that. And my discovery took me happy. I think I got nice nice to God. Uh, she characterized Banshee the mega sister and named as her daughter in the Catholic Mexican number way when the mission became a cult. She discovered a diamond in the The party is worthy, but the land in the Nirvana and he is given the credit for discovery of the in addition to one of my resources. But I forgot where I did it about the church pressure. Uh, I think I should forgot. Yeah, no, it's okay. I will forget. So Alan James Chandler, who became a professor of marketing on Brian Francis at the University of California, Davis. He established the methods to prove that bipolar is required for the left control inhibitors. Before that, and then he is the first one to put the paper on the GMS, showing its effect on the children. Uh, then Barbara Angelinska, she is a professor in the South of Russia, is a biochemist, and she succeeded in making oxygen evolving complex. That was indeed a protein because. In the old days, she used rabbit and tomato to prove that it was a protein. So nobody knew there was an OEC. So everybody thought about it. And there were many experiments, but this was an actual uh, work. David Lee Van der Roman, uh, who uh, went into the industry, he characterized ADP to, to isolate the DNA synthase and made promises of study for the role of monoid analysis. Paul uh, Lechner-Dutnik, he characterized all the membrane potential. He talked about membrane potential, able to the fragility light. So he showed the fragility light and is able to estimate redox potential, the reaction potential. So you know it is here, but this is in his thesis to show what number it is. He, he, he went to uh, work with uh, Benson, and he is now uh, also at patents uh, in Philadelphia. So coming to the 1970s, uh, there are some other people. This is Barbara Zelinskis, uh, Alan Chandler, Thomas Kuczynski, David Vanderbilt, Marat Kubi. Some people didn't uh, say for PhD. Uh, he went to industry, and Daniel Wong, who did PhD at the university, is also in patents. So Tom Kuczynski, uh, he, I think, came from chemistry. And he proved that bipolarity functions in the electron. He's the first paper to prove its functions in the electron receptor side of the PhD. And Daniel Wong, using the tool of polarization of fluorescence as well as light penetration, he was able to decipher type of the regulation of cancer among two patients. If you're talking about regulation of big patients, he has very detailed knowledge of that. And Peter Gana mentioned this is a lawyer now. Using biochemical surgery, the electron cancer step was able to prove bicarbonate functions at the plastic canal level that can measure the plastic canal itself in very the brain group, uh, not within the cell, but with the brain group, uh, where this parasite found how to show the role of bicarbonate in the program. So, very important. Coming to the end, uh, my two weeks after I retired in 1999, Coleman, who wrote an Review with me in Scientific American, the important student that doesn't look like that at all now. So if you're in this moment, he was telling you about the University of Papa Virgil and then he was at home. Why did he use a chloride in the mouth in the sense of mechanism of chloride of the Nobody talks about that anymore because other things are used. Chloride is still not pushed to the act. Julie and I provided the first big explanation of bicarbonate functions for two electron gates. 
And then you prove out to buy the detail of the next to the number and then sign it by the Okay, any other students? Uh, so Shimma, she prepared and characterized the most highly active photo society. In the greenhouse, that's why everybody here has been doing it in Asma. And she characterized it that this is not how we can fortunate it. Uh, she did a very really good job in the head of the room, uh, cancer research, millions of dollars, I suppose, uh, with many people working. Uh, different car, uh, well, some are kind of funny, they disappear. And finally, the construction of side electrons related to the bypass study in some of that. So the first to observe the bypass. Sinechu, who uh, and, uh, became the head of the he, 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 he was the head of the Fancy Geology Division in Shanghai, in China, and the Chinese Academy of Science. He uh, was the one who uh, showed the dual effect of bypass, both on the electrons on the side and the side. has always been on the zone, where the bypass is not found. And he showed that both phenomena exist. And they are uh, here. This song, uh, we find here the construction of side electron business related to bypass study in some of the most. And she provided the model for the binding of bypass and non compliant fish has become. And uh, I just wanted to show you some connection with India. Uh, there are other people than the ones in JMU. There's Lin Moy Das from Kolkata, the Arctic coach of Kolkata. And uh, they did many, many experiments on spectroscopy and uh, Arctic tool. The Jatana Bhakti, they don't know static, they can change in the temperature, regulate in the temperature, and he was by growing in different ways, different colored light, he was able to study it. And this is the bicarbonate effect. You remove the bicarbonate. There's no oxidation, no graphic light. So, by almost all the three and more. And this works, as I may have mentioned in the class, on the gate. So, let's just quickly. Okay. So, you are QA. So, we got the electron. And we start with the electron. So the proton comes in from another amino acid. This line here, this time. Another electron comes in. Now, another proton. Another proton is coming in. Another proton is coming in. And that proton is coming from the bike. So that is the function of the bike. Make two different So you have one, two protons, two electrons. Now you are not so happy there, so you just move out to this blue percent so another person can come to this. So that is the secret that I have. Now it is proven. No. So we are, I'm hoping that other laboratories uh, will do that. So this experiment was the first experiment done in Dolly's lab. We got another next picture. So, uh, shows the two electron gate. Uh, I won't, I won't dis describe the details, but to show you the two electron gate can be measured by a complicated means. In this, you can see the two electron gate by showing those two proofs So, that's the two electron gate phenomena. When you remove bicarbonate, then there is no two electron gate. When you add that bicarbonate, so the details you can read from my paper in 1926 in the title of the director. Uh, and more papers I will review. And as I said before, uh, we are kind of where it is. Hi, this is Tony. I'm, I'm giving my last lecture about my life. You <laughs> <laughs> need so, so let's talk about you. <laughs> so uh, this is the experiment of Hannah in which uh, it's to see the effect of proton. And also showing that uh, the effect that you did the biochemical surgery and showing the effect that you gave it in this part. And to finish, and I showed you maybe the slide before, and you can see the Palmer Parkinson. Uh, 
थोड़ी बहुत है है क्या है तो बेसिकली दिस बाइक हम कर सर्जरी एंड व्हाट इज शोन देयर वाज नो इलेक्ट्रॉन नो बाइक ऑन इफेक्ट ऑफ वाटर एंड देन देयर वाज नो इफेक्ट व्हेन यू पुट रैन अपॉन इट नॉट फॉर दैट बट नाउ व्हेन आई से नो नो डज नॉट मीन नो दैट शो यू दैट आर टू इफेक्ट वन इज मेजर इफेक्ट द बाइंडिंग है देयर इज अनदर इफेक्ट व्हिच इज टू स्टडी बाय सेल ऑल राइट एज आई शो आई आई लाइक दिस सम Believe that what Jin Chong told him, and what Jin Chong publicly made that the five partners did it on a non-denial, which is now proven to be the thing. Now it turns out that Michel himself had said that, which I didn't know. Maybe that's why he liked it. <laughs> they have a paper, but that's not for the other number of years. It's something else which I didn't know about. So they had predicted this themselves, but here is a prediction based on this complete model. All right. Uh, that. But just to show you finally where the bicarbonate is, it's finding it is here, here on certain amino acids. So it knows the function. That's the hypothesis. It knows the function between the bound plus the commutative. I just I explained to you how it works, right? The two of the two of the two. Don't forget to explain. Uh, we may not go show that one oxygen atom of bicarbonate coordinates to non-hydrogen to hydrogen bonded to G2 carbon 2.4, whereas the other is hydrogen bonded to G1 carbon 2.6. So we're going to make two monomers. And the third oxygen hydrogen bonded to G1 glutamate to 3.4 and G1 phenyl to 3.4, either directly or two oxygen. These may allow the stabilization of bicarbonate bond. So basically, these have to be mutagenized. I have not yet succeeded in having anybody enter the field. So I'm going to try to talk to you. Should I be sure? So here we go. Our hypothesis, the bicarbonate function from the CH2 acceptor side and the electron and proton transfer, which I explained to you by my hand. And uh, it provides a second proton, which says it can be two minus an answer. Now we're out of the funnel to what we've been dreaming. Okay, so let's go. Q minus. Oh no. So then a proton comes in, and now we know all the amino acids. We know where, where it's coming from. There's a tremendous study by quantum mechanics in quantum mechanics with a physicist that looked at the There's a paper in physics journal from England, and uh, I have interest in my son. Uh, and then his student, he said, that of uh, my student, he said, this student has his own school. So my son's grand school is doing it up a bit. He will let us think. They are all physicists, they're not biologists. We'll see what they find. So there's no program function. And then, and the electrolyte, and then the electrolyte, and then the electrolyte is coming. Now this program is coming through the domain. Two bicarbonate. Well, bicarbonate has a proton. That's what it's been gifted. But then it recovers this proton. This picture was done by my friend Tony Cross, uh, who was also in science at the school of learning class. Basically, then, and last to show you, and I told you this slide, that one of the major things that was proud of, is what you do, Michael Adelinsky, are going to show the first reaction of the electron. And some other people, where, who are they? I've been showing them the pictures of my students and what they have done. And so let's see, uh, let's remember, some of you recognize this is Rita Jenna, Sam Wisniewski, myself, Jeremy Zimbai, this is Paul Disney, Daniel Wong, myself, James Franklin, Mike Podolowski. What do these great people do? James Benson was the first person to make the first measurement on the primary photosynthesis of the cell. It was published in Cell And it's a very strange story. He wrote his thesis and he kept going after Cell Series. The result is 
nobody back there to submit the word. It's all written by him. The entire piece. Somebody stole his Bible. And he was so frustrated. This has never happened I suppose, in the history of it. I have never heard it ever. And he was so frustrated because he told me, I am doing it. I'm not going to. I just cannot write it. So he was a very good student. And he did a very, done a very good job because he knew instrumentation, he knew the theory, he knew the technique. And so he went to work with Henry Cross as an assistant uh, center to her money in uh, computer science and Tony Cross, and then now he's working for the company. No, he, he couldn't write it. He said uh, several years of work with all data, no data on the computer. So please scan the computer today. He put everything there. You will find it. Not in a bag written by hand. I'm sure it's been passed in the I'm sure it did not come into that. Somebody. So I'm very sorry for him, but I respect him. And I'm very happy that he was my student and he did that. So that's the intention. Another person, two other persons I want to mention, but besides you know, you know who you are. Know, and uh, I think that you guys can do a book already. And the chapter that you should read for this lecture is there. I'm going to be at the places you'll hear it. Dave Verma, he was one of the best students I had. And uh, I love taught him how to draw the car. That's my only training. He knew everything. And he's now a professor, very well known professor at Simon Bike Theology, the Arizona State University. And uh, he made some of those discoveries in, in bicarbonate showing the relationship of herbicide and bicarbonate. He used many chemical alkanil and many, many other things to prove the herbicide and bicarbonate bind. Ask him to make a new pencil and do it. I will ask you. I will ask you. They, 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 they are so big. He has a company, or rather, uh, patent company. They are making oil and lipids and other things from other chemicals. Yeah. So basically, yeah. everybody is so busy today. Uh, <laughs> I ask other people, but the only hope is maybe Julie. Uh, so, all right. So, Ankit Katichili, uh, she did the first chloride in MR. Uh, and she is professor in Australia. So many people are inside, uh, uh, but not all. All right, so this is the book. We are now in volume 43, 42. The two last volumes after volume 40 that you already have. Right? But by the way, you should get another volume for the library so they can have access to your book. You the the book only have. book you have. I have to, if I had known, I would have brought my first pair of books. Anyway. So, all right, so what is volume 41 and 42? Keep talking. Volume 41 is on the cytochrome B2 peptide that I talked about the other day. I think I did a little bit else about everything you want to know about the peptide. Volume 42 is kind of big for the thing. Now we're going, going into the field and see what, how photosynthesis is done in the kind of field. The next volume will be a leak photosynthesis. What is level of the leak? All those books are being picked up. Okay, so yep, I did retire in 99. How do I know it? <laughs> they gave me a party and they questioned me a lot. <laughs> so here you see, here I'm sitting answering questions from my past PhD students. Uh, and the one who asked most questions is Barbara Gillis, yes. And Alan Semler, we first we introduced bicarbonate to my group, in spite of the fact that I said, Alan, that's a waste of time. He said, I said, he said, I want to prove to the barber in Mumbai. Barber said I'll prove my thesis. Of course, you know, proven by many people. But he wanted something totally new. So he went in there. And so this is our Nintendo, retired from days. He's a Fernando Yoris, Canton, you know, uh, the university. And uh, any other people? Uh, Sitting in the back. And the uh, other student is called Sudotro, who oh, had a paper uh, in Colorado uh, in uh, Australian general. And he is now a doctor. He is uh, a pediatrician. So 
Uh, I chat with the uh, Asami Paris group. Uh, they have another uh, work going on inside the skeleton gene as well as energy stuff, the right, and that's it for it. Really. I have been to the head about uh, the original question. That was my last one. <coughs> Sorry, I Yes, I can after the uh, after 